This video is not suitable for children. If you're under 18 years of age, please end now. Hi guys, Funk here, Scale Street Garage. And today's project is this Aveling Burford diesel road roller. Uh, it's a dinky 251 that dated from 1954 to 1963. But this particular one that belongs to my best friend. Um, it was his father's. His father sadly passed away in May of this year. And I brought it on myself to restore it back to original for him. Um, it's been well played with for 71 years. It was his father's to start with. Then, uh, then Roy's brother played with it. Then the Roy's played with it. Then Roy's boys have played with it. It's uh, brought many happy hours for uh, three generations. As you can see, it's been uh, lovingly played with. Um, it's still got all its character and charm, but unfortunately it's, uh, it's lost a lot of its paint. And as noted, it's uh, lost its roof as well. Um, but, like I say, we're... we're we're going to sort that out and I've really really been looking forward to doing this first off it's time to tackle this roof so I first designed it then sliced it on Simplify 3D and there I'm just printed out on my Creator CR10S uh, now as I've got the actual print I can check it for size make sure this uh, the right dimensions um didn't have any measurements for this whatsoever so i can only eyeball this from uh, observing plenty of uh, photographs from on on the internet and gain a, a a good idea of the sizes here you'll see i'm just uh, using some plaster of paris and making a mold i'm using a soft mix of um, baby oil and beeswax there to use a release agent and now I'm just cutting in the, the channels where um, the molten metal is going to go in and where the air will allow it to pass through and come out just pre-warming it there and melting the wax in and as you'll see I'm using old Zamac car bodies for this um, Zamac is what old die casts are made from or 99% of them are made from and it stands for zinc aluminium magnesium and copper it's easily melted down even on just a normal stove um, as die casts they the melting point is between 400 and 420 430 degrees c um, so as you'll see it pours quite nicely um, just run it under the cold water there just to cool it down and now just breaking away the the mold so I can uh, clean the cast up. Certainly uh, a, a new idea for me this one. Uh, it's a, my first attempt at uh, doing the, the die cast casting. And you'll see there I'm just rubbing it down. And uh, there was a few little pitties on this. Uh, they didn't come out correct. So I've actually had to use a little bit of Milliput. Only a little tiny bit though. And you'll see that I'm just using a, a primer just to give it a good key and to uh, get rid of just a, a few of the little tiny surface imperfections and the paint I couldn't get the colour so what I'm actually doing is just mixing it it looks like I'm using black there but it's not I'm actually using light green and some dark green there I use some yellow, some white and some midnight blue as well no black in this whatsoever and I'm sure you'll agree in a moment when you see it um, I get the colour a pretty good match I'm sure you'll agree that's about as close I'm going to get it So now I've got the paint sorted and it's time to take it apart. I'm going to take it apart nice and carefully here. Um, I don't actually want to take the base plate off this one if I can help it. Um, 
trying not to touch the the rivets whatsoever I want to try and keep it as as original as I can although um, respraying it and doing the extras etc obviously it's it's not keeping it original but we are going to reuse the uh, the axles as as I say there at this point I wasn't intending to uh, take the base plates off um, if I was if I'd have thought about it before and I'd no need to have actually um, touched this rear axle whatsoever it's always the way you uh, always think of something later on So uh, I'm struggling away there because these are quite chunky axles. These are about four or five times thicker than a standard axle. I'm uh, just giving it a bit, bit of a clean up there. I'm just trying to see whether I can get away with doing a, a paint restoration like I did on the um, on the little little red uh, tea van in my last video the the base has completely lost all its all its um, all its or 99% of its black off there so what I'm doing is I'm I put it in the uh, in the shitty strip sorry in the better strip and we leave it for normally it's about 15 minutes but it ended up going in there for about two hours because the paint that was on there for some reason just didn't want to strip at all um, it was a, a complete nightmare but we get this with some of the older castings um, so I don't know if it's the lead content or whatever um, that prevents the um, the paint stripper from acting as good I'm not too sure but um, yeah, it, it was it was a challenge. As you'll see there, to um, I'm just going to sand off the the wheels and make them look nice and new um, around the rims. And what I'm, as you'll see, what I'm actually doing is putting a, a pin through there. It's the axle actually, and then putting a spring on there, uh, just so that the the spring causes a um, a back force, so the um, the wheel will spin, um, but it's not actually locked on the tight tight so if it was to jam up um, the chuck would just spin but it certainly makes an easy job of, uh, of doing them them wheels now I can just clean the the axles up as usual here's a quite chunky axles these are Time to put some of the, uh, the stripper on the wheels. See if it reacts with them. And I'll let you know now. It, <laughs> it was the same as the green. It just didn't want to budge. It did. It did eventually. Uh, but like I say, it, it did take some time. seeing what's actually left on there so after a good scrub up we're just going to use the usual wire brush attachment on the on the rotary tool or the fake dremel um, actually this is not a, a Zito one this one then apparently it's a Oz tools uh, a brand that we can get over here in the UK uh, it's been quite a good Quite a good little rotary tool this one, I can't fault it. Just remember guys, when you're using these uh, wire brush attachments that the uh, the wires do actually fling out. 
and uh, they they make quite nice little projectiles so uh, make sure that you're uh, definitely wearing eye protection um, I should recommend gloves as well but I can't I can't use gloves um, I'd rather pull a, a piece of wire out than, uh, than wear gloves I know it's uh, silly of me but it's uh, personal protection and my personal choice so I I just carried on and give it a good cleaning get it all as best I can I was happy how the wheels come out the wheels come out beautiful <laughs> Got to keep a good hold of them because otherwise they, they do shoot off out your hands. I don't know if you noticed there, there's uh, on the inside of that wheel there's actually pins. And um, what these front wheels do, they, they go together and the pins actually lock onto each other. So it will only turn so far. And then the other wheel has to turn as well. Uh, I think it's a brilliant idea of um, preventing wheels from seizing up. And I don't know if that's the reason why they've done it. I thought it was a great little idea. So now I've got the, uh, the outers nice and shiny. Can I uh, give them a... I'm masking off because I'm going to be spraying these red. I do apologise, guys. I um, I I didn't didn't actually video them being painted. What I was doing there I was just putting the the black uh, black paint on there, and I decided, you know what, I'm going to do it right. And so out come the rivets. And I'm so glad as I did. To be honest, I didn't want to cut corners with this, this one anyway, because this this actual um this project has actually got sentimental value to me because my mate's dad was absolutely fantastic. He, he was a great guy. And you know what? I wish my dad was like he was. Look at the rust inside on that base plate. So I'm really, really glad as I actually did take this apart. So and I actually want it to be as perfect as I could anyway for, for my mate. So. As you know, Roy, I love you to pieces, mate. You're more of a brother than anything else. Now, another reason why I wanted to um, do this for my mate Roy was... Roy will do anything for anyone, absolutely any, anything. And every year he does, he does a cause for the homeless up in London. And he's been doing it for, I think it's the past five or six years now. He gets uh, donations of brand new sleeping bags and thermal gloves, hats, scarves. Uh, they take meals up there, they give out goodie bags. Um, and it's all beautifully done off donations and it goes up every December uh, along with some others from uh, it's a group called the Carp Crusaders um, if any of you are into carp fishing uh, you may be on there if not uh, give me a look absolutely fantastic group over on Facebook yeah it's well worth a look but this is just a, a way of saying thank you to Roy for everything he's, he's done for me because he's done loads for me and my family and I just wanted to give something back in return Excuse my phone being in the shots there guys. Just using the uh, the photograph there just to get an idea of what height the actual roof should be um, above the driver. Like I say I've got no dimensions for this whatsoever. I did try getting them online but I couldn't get them anywhere whatsoever. So I'm just having to eyeball everything. 
just using some uh, inch and three quarter round panel pins here for the uh, for the posts and these are an absolute perfect dimension for this make sure those are well sealed in which they are they're actually in there and they're bent over as well like the originals and just put a little bit of super glue on just a just as a backup just to to make sure that they're actually sealed in there the idea of the screw here is I'm just going to stick this inside the actual body so I've got something to hold on to whilst I spray it so I've just heated up a, a glue stick make sure I get plenty on there and then it goes And we'll try that again, shall we? Heat it up a little bit more. It cooled down really, really quickly, and I don't know why. But it's on there now. So now it's uh, that's ready for painting. There we go, guys. There's the wheels all painted up. Let's say I do apologise. I I missed um, I missed painting them. They're just stuck on cocktail sticks and into a piece of foam. So here we go, guys. It's uh, time for the spray bath. Just make sure the airbrush is working nicely there. Spraying here at about one and a half bar or 21, 22 uh, foot pound. I love how this comes out. As you'll see, I've actually replicated where the original has the uh, the two studs coming through the front of the roof. I've actually um, replicated that as well. Giving it a, a medium to liberal coat. So these Tamiya paints, I absolutely love them. I really do. And you'll see there again, quite a nice little shine in it already. Um, and the, this is just the base coat, really. So we'll leave that for a little while. And just thinning the, um, the paint down. So I can put a nice wet coat on there. And that way I can get a nice shine. And as always, I'm... Um, uh, just using 99% isopropyl to thin it down. No need for a clear coat on this one. And time to uh, put it all back together. Now these axles are that thick. Um, the rear ones, I actually had to heat it up to uh, to round it off. I, there was no way on earth that the rounding tool was actually going to do anything with it. So. I heat it up just to soften it and it worked absolutely perfect. And what I'm using is using pop rivets and to replace the originals. And what I'm actually doing is I'm just putting them on the drill there. I put them in the drill and put them onto a file just to um, get them down to the, the correct size and to round off the uh, the head a little bit more than what it, it should be um, rather than what it was originally so as it looks more like the originals and we're, we're just going to stick all these in with super glue now the back the back um, rivet is actually um, just a dome post it's not actually got any holes in it on the original so I've uh, just filled it in with a, a little bit of CA glue so that when I uh, when I paint it, it comes out just like a like the original one. And there we go, it's all done. But what I done was I um I went on Paint Shop. Um, I use Paint Shop Pro for my my work as I do I do use Photoshop, but not very often. And I just replicated a box. Um, it's not the right thickness card, but it was just a, a way that I wanted to to give it back. Just scoring all the joints, just so that it folds easy.
I'll be honest, this 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 whole project was a labour of love. And yes, it did put tears in my eyes. And it was the same for uh, for Roy when I gave it back to him as well. And there we go, it's in his little his little box. So uh, let, let's have a, a quick recap. Um, this is how we started off with it. I say 71 years of uh, love and affection. It's been super, super played with. Three generations of play where I'm sure you'll agree it's in good condition really considering. It did make me chuckle. My poor little turntable absolutely struggled like hell. The weight of this uh, this road roller is is unbelievable, and it, yeah, it certainly uh, give my uh, my turntable a run for its money. As you'll see, that it almost stops at one point. I hope you guys uh, agree that I've done it justice. And there we go. Here's the uh, here's a, the final piece, all finished. Roy did put a, a, a nice thank you up on uh, on Facebook. Um, if any of you have got Roy Lawler on your friends list, um, it's worth having a read. Love him to pieces. Thanks, Roy. Well, guys, I hope you like it. I've really, really enjoyed doing this piece. Thanks, Roy, for letting me do it. And uh, please like... If you do like it, please share it on your uh, social media. Let's spread the love of this one. Thanks to all my new subscribers and all my old ones as well. I've thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed doing this piece. And uh, I just love love doing uh, all these restoration jobs. But this one had super special meanings. Cheers for watching, guys. Catch you all soon.